Hey, what's up, guys? We're up here. There's so more! We have a lot to discuss, all surrounding the topic of Stellar Blade, which officially released today. Now, ever so since the you're hype... You're free to interpret it that way. <laughs> ...behind this game was building, there was always an ongoing concern that there would be censorship in the official release of this game. And one of the big marketing points that has been pushed by this company is that Stellar Blade was going to offer the same uncensored version in all countries. This is something that people were very excited about, and it made journalists very yeah, it's mad. Yeah, as of today. This uncensored release was going to be something diabolical and bad. However, we would see immediate censorship take place right as this game was making its official release. We saw journalists complaining about this right here. The combination of the hard graffiti next to the R Shop logo, and they... Was on the stream after coming here. Did he talk about this on his stream? Oh! Claim that this was. I thought he just made them as YouTube videos. What? Was offensive, a hard R reference, and of course, to the displeasure of many, this would be patched out. This would be censored by Stellar Blade as soon as it was discovered by these journalists. And say what you want, but that is an act of censorship. Now, moving forward, a lot of people were looking forward to the release, the official release today, to see if there's more changes. In particular, if there's going to be changes involving the outfits that the main protagonist, Eve, is wearing. Well, we have an article here by Niche Gamer that is definitely a very good guide as we go through this video. And also, I'm going to add some things on. No, it's not about the letter R. It was uh, the graffiti. You see this? I muted it by mistake. You see this? Heart! Oh, I'm in the way. Give me a moment. That's the issue. Bro, I need to close the these other tabs. Bro, I need to close the other tabs, otherwise this is gonna keep happening. There. Heart. Alright. You see? You see what it is? Our shop logo, and they claim that this was offensive, a hard R reference, and of course, to the displeasure of many, this would be patched out. This would be censored by Stellar Blade as soon as it was discovered by these journalists. And say what you want, but that is an act of censorship. Now, moving forward, a lot of people were looking forward to the release, the official release today, to see if there's more changes, in particular, if there's going to be changes involving the outfits that the main protagonist, Eve, is wearing. Why would well, they be? We have an article here by Niche Gamer that is. <laughs> oh, oh, because of global co oh, censorship. Good no, okay. As we're going through this video, and also I'm going to add some things on that they have not gotten to yet. But they say this Stellar Blade developer Shift Up acknowledges the outfit censorship. More players provide video evidence of these changes. Oh, so let's shit. Let's get into the article. It says, Yesterday, fans came forward they surprised actually censored. to see different versions of the Holiday Rabbit costume in Stellar Blade. As a result, accusations and misinformation overtook the discourse. The first signs of censorship in Stellar Blade appeared online when users who received physical editions of the game noticed that the Holiday Rabbit outfit was different after the oh, game was shit. patched. Oh shit, they actually was patched it. This thought to be a possible hoax after footage Wait, before what? the day one patch showed the censored outfit. So there is a Wait, ton which one of is misinfor it now? misinformation surrounding the subject. And a lot of people are very confused. Even people with good intentions are confused as to what's going on specifically with this holiday rabbit costume. Now, first thing that people saw was Screenshots like this, they're going around on Twitter showing a claim that this was the uncensored pre patch version of this outfit. You can see okay. there's more cleavage here. And okay. then on the patched version, you can see they add the little black shirt ah, behind the initial outfit that obviously hides some of the cleavage. It is a censored version of this outfit. Now, some people are claiming that this is a hoax or fake or edited or something like that because other people who have reviewer copies of this game said that this has been the case all along. This shirt underneath the initial outfit has always been a part of it. Aww. This user saying on the left is the bunny suit recorded on 414 on my Let's Play. On the right is the bunny suit recorded today on day one patch. So people were claiming that those Aww. other examples must be in misinformation. And we see some other footage with this censored version dating back to April, 4 April 24th, which is obviously before the official release. Now, what is going on? Well, it seems that Niche Gamer has the same thought process that I do about this, and here's their claim. 
What appears to be the case is that reviewers who received a digital copy of the game were actually playing a 1.01 patch as opposed to the game as it was shipped. This oh, transitional patch because... between the original game and the day one 1.02 patch appears to have mm, been what makes censored sense. the outfits. The information about the uncensored outfits came from individuals who received their physical editions early and played the game unpatched, which at the time meant that it was difficult to verify. In the hour since Stellar Blade became available, more users have begun speaking up about the censorship and have been uploading videos of the uncensored outfit. So we're going to look it's at the examples crazy that in a second, but basically, in a nutshell, the version that people are claiming That's so was crazy. the original one from days ago is actually a patched version. Bro, let... Let us see the fucking booba. Like, what the fuck is this? They should just lean into it. They knew what they were doing in the first place. Just stick to your guns. Legit. Like, just let him be. Just show us the fucking booba. That's what people want to see anyway. Don't fucking check him out, man. Show us the fucking boobs. This reviewer copy that they're playing has already been patched with these censored outfits. The physical release that came out today is the original unpatched version containing these uncensored outfits. Yes, it looks like there is censorship and there's videos showing proof of that. You can see users like this releasing their perspective with the physical copy. You can see right here, this is the that original unpatched oh. I am looking respectfully respectfully looking physical copy you can see right here like i was gonna be like on about like about the booba like a lot of people love the fucking booba right i'm looking but it ain't respectful ah <laughs> no this is the original Yes. <laughs> unpatched version of this outfit without the shirt underneath if you go here you can see they'll go into their interface and they will show everything going on uh, 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 where am i where am i big <laughs> coca <laughs> Why you play? booba Oh, has gamer. What's up? What's up? What's up? Big thigh save lives. What's up? What's up? We're just l looking respectfully at Booba. I hate that they censored it. I hate it. It can't be that bad. <laughs> you did not just say that. You fucking DJ! <laughs> this right here is the outfit that was before the patch. It's not bad, it's it's just funny. Proof that this it's so DJ. They're playing. Nice butt booba and put personality somewhere in there too, I guess. <laughs> Playing a patched version of this game. The physical copy just hasn't been patched yet, and people who are getting the physical copy and then adding and installing this new patch are seeing this outfit get censored. This outfit has been censored. I think it's very. Guys, 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 guys. The outfit. Has a zipper. The outfit has a zipper, but instead of just closing that zipper, they gave her a shirt underneath. <laughs> they gave her a fucking shirt, but it has a zipper. How fucking stupid are they? Just they close that it. Case right now, and of course we have further evidence here coming from the related subreddit <laughs> where we have. Is there any thinking of rolling back to the version before the censorship? Legit! 
the director of Stellar Blade acknowledge <laughs> that people ten. are upset about He's... some censorship and changes that have taken place with the physical release. How long do you think it will take Modus to undo the censorship? Not long at all. Not long at all. Versus other digital updates and patches. And this is something that- Oh shit, it's only on PlayStation, isn't it? Is it on Steam? Is it a PlayStation exclusive? I don't actually know. I'm not entirely sure. Anyone? Knowing? Uh, on, at the moment, yeah. Okay. And modern PlayStation is kind of more awkward. Makes I don't know much about it. Talking about. Rolling back to the version before the censorship. <laughs> <laughs> so the fight costume that we wanted to show you is indeed the costume of- No! 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 I hate you, Twitter! You ruined tits! Twitter, you ruined our tits! Fuck you, Twitter! Degenerate box. <laughs> I never claimed otherwise. So based on the additional context provided by the director here, I think it's very obvious what happened. This was an outfit that was censored and altered in some sort of a way between the original physical copy and the patch version of this game. And that is something that people are upset That's about. That. And he is trying to convince people that, yes, it looks like censorship, but it's actually perhaps. I think we should watch the Borat movie as a community night at one point. <laughs> we need to watch Borat. Perhaps the final version we always wanted to go with, which I think is trying to cover their own tracks because this is something you would expect out of a company that is dealing with Sony. Sony is very pro censorship, and I'm not uh, surprised Sony. that Stellar Blade would have difficulty trying to preserve some of these outfits. Now, moving forward, I want to address one more thing. A lot of people are spreading this screenshot. I believe this post has been taken down, but people are using this as another example of censorship, and it was causing more confusion. And it's titled here, Alternative Holiday Rabbit in okay. MG+. Plus. You can see it is that same rabbit costume. It's yes. just a different color, but it does have that little patch of clothing to hide some of the cleavage. Yeah. Now, I think this is the result of something separate. I think, and this is just my personal opinion, I believe this is an alternative version of this rabbit costume that they are adding into this edition of the game. You can see in their initial post here, Stellar Blade New Game Plus Mode, available on launch April 26th. And if you go down here, you'll see that there's an expanded wardrobe. Dude, I've heard so much about Stella Blade, just nothing about the gameplay. What kind of fucking game is it anyway? Is it a hack and slash? Like, what do you even do in the fucking game? I have no idea what the gameplay is even like. All I know is ass and tits and controversies. Like, legit? It's like near. Cute girl walking simulator. <laughs> is it a hack and slash? This gameplay? <laughs> right? In this it's release, crazy. A whopping 34 yeah, Dark Souls new lights outfits plus for anime. to earn in new game. Chat, do we need to play that? Chat. I have a PlayStation 5. Do we need to play Stella Blade, chat? <laughs> chat, are we getting Stella Blade? <laughs> Yes, 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 yes. Look, look at what? Five people said yes. <laughs> game Plus. Now it's at 34 total or 34 in addition with New Game Plus. <laughs> Not quite sure yet, but what I believe based on what I've seen, that previous screenshot. Oh, we gotta wait anyway. I don't have the money right now. We gotta wait for May anyway. Is this updated patched version and it is an- It's you need to say more weird shit. How am I supposed to 
will the 10 minute kids out of context video yo we need yo i've been wanting to make a 10 minutes out of context kid the kids video for so long but i've never gotten around to it with all the shit i have been doing man i need out of context kids dude 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 go through my clips go through my fucking clips on all of them don't just go through the featured one go through all of the clips <laughs> And actually, in my words, there's so much unhinged shit that I've said before. Oh my god. Or 34 in addition with New Game Plus. Not quite sure yet, but what I believe Blade. based on what I've said. How much is Stellar Blade? Is this 80? If it's 80, we're not fucking playing it. I'm not spending 80 bucks on a fucking video game. PS Store Stellar Blade. I'm not spending 80 bucks on a, on a video game. It's 80 bucks. We're not buying it. I'm not buying that. Chat, I'm not buying this. It's 80 euros. I'm not- I'm not buying it. I'm not- No! This is 80 euros. Even if it's on sale, it's 40 euros. I'm- I'm sorry, we're not playing Stellar Blade. I- I'd rather those 80 euros- I'd rather those 80 euros go into a better PC. I'm not spending this. I'm sorry, chat. I'm sorry to crush your dreams. We're not playing Stellar Blade. We can watch Esmongold play it though. I I guarantee he's gonna play it. Seen that previous screenshot is this updated patched version, and it is an alternative <laughs> version of that existing costume. But we're still now, moving play. forward. There would be more censorship. So here we have a uh, niche game. Unless someone gifts me the fucking game without playing it, is what I'm saying, right? Because if you're gonna give me money, I'm gonna save that for a PC. I'd rather have it on PC. I'd rather have in your PC that Stellar Blade. So we're not playing it. I have no PS5 still cramping money for that. I I'm paying monthly for my PS PS PS5, bro. <laughs> I have a four-year contract to pay off my PlayStation for <laughs> every single month. That's how you get in debt. Don't do what I did. I still love my PlayStation 5 though. Let's you know what to do. <laughs> Don't fucking buy me Stellar Blade. We're gonna donate that money for a PlayStation. I've been selling stuff on eBay. Damn. Put Stella Blade on your there throne. There have been also no. other changes, such as reducing the level of gore in the game and how it sticks to Eve's body. Both of these changes came despite assurances from. Sh Can I even do that? Can I even fucking do that? Can I even put Stella Blade on my fucking throne? Uh, I'm not logged into throne from Chrome. Throne. Here's the funny thing, you don't get to choose, bruh. Only one way to find out. Bruh, Jay, are you gonna buy me Stella Blade? Because I'm gonna hate you if you do. <laughs> like, I'd rather have a fucking PC, bro. <laughs> don't dox your throne. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I'm, I'm opening it with um, Chrome. A Stella Blade. Why is it 70 as physical copy? It's fucking 70 as physical copy. I'm so angry. I'm so angry about that. Yeah, add to wishlist. Add to wishlist there. At least I think it's the physical. Yeah, it's it's through Amazon. Yeah, it's on my, it's on my bro. <laughs> Fucking degens. Shift up that the game would be. The physical copy is more valuable anyway because it's unpatched. Actually! You're right though! Be uncensored for all. You're right regions. though! And you can see posts like this showing the proof that on the left, you have the pre patched version where she is covered <gasps> in blood and her blood heads in her direction. And this is the patched version where the blood has been toned down and no longer. What the fuck? Oh fuck. I love collecting physical copies actually. I love collecting and keeping physical copies, bro. I love physical copies of games. I know it's actually so much more convenient to just have them all on your online storage, right? It's so much more convenient, but physical copies they're just the the collector in me, you know? I love Sticks physical copies because of collecting. When it lands there. Again, this is censorship. 
pure this is simple. awful. I mean, it's Smick not like the most bloody. egregious, horrifying act of censorship, but it is censorship. And people normally would be very upset. And just because you like this game or shift up doesn't mean you should overlook this. So basically, what are we taking away from this? Well, we know a couple things. We know that there have been acts of censorship already committed by Stellar Blade. Whether it's the result of Sony pushing them or not, it doesn't change the fact that it is in fact happening. Now, a lot of people have had emotional responses to this, and I, I, I definitely oh, caution against nice. it. Some people are just immediately throwing their hands up in the air and saying this game is compromised and it's beyond saving. And some people are overlooking everything that's happening and saying, oh, well, whatever. I'm just going to play the game. Anyways, I don't really care if there's this censorship. It's not a big deal. And I think there's a lot. But we need ass. A lot of these things can be true at the same time. Sony can be putting pressure on Shift Up to censor this game, while also Shift Up actively censoring the game and you can also want to play this game and see these changes fixed now where are we again sony we're dealing with sony okay sony is one of the biggest uh, offenders of <laughs> random acts of censorship you will ever see this is something that was already kind of acknowledged by the director of shift up and yoko taro who is the creator of of course near Autonoma. so in an interview <gasps> Oh, what did Yoko Taro say? I love this man. This man is so based. When he was asked about fucking why is to be hot, he said because I like hot girls. He's so based. I love him. He's so based. They were going back and forth. They wanted to ask if there was any fights with Sony Interactive Entertainment since they are publishing Stellar Blade, where the director would say... Yoshi P is amazing too, that's true. ...and laughed... The people at SIE They're both amazing, man. are very, very nice. And then Yoko would say SIE staff members are pulling faces I've never seen before. I wish the readers of this article could see it. There's definitely Dumb. some sort of attention and an acknowledgement between these creators that, yes, there is some sort of a censorship issue when you're dealing with Sony. And that's not something that's surprising. We've seen how brutal they've been with their censorship, especially of Japanese products. Where they have routinely try to tone down anything they can in these games. In fact, the Ball reason why people are angry about this is because there seems to be a weird bias when it comes to certain games versus others. They're trying to okay. censor and basically button up the designs of Eve and Stellar Blade, while they're also simultaneously selling games like Baldur's Gate 3 that has full-on nudity and an option for players to have sex with bears. Like, it's ridiculous that a little bit of cleavage in Stellar Blade is too much for that and for mature Who? I think it depends on who is the publisher of uh, Stellar Blade. In that case, and in that case, who... Like, if in the end they are, sp I don't know how you'd call that, sponsored by PlayStation? Entwickler Shift Up Corporation, Herausgeber, it's Sony. Sony owns them. That's the issue. Sony fucking owns them. That's the issue. Sony owns the company. There you go, that's the issue. Sony doesn't own Baldur's Gate. Sony doesn't own the company of, um... Fucking, fucking, what, what was it called? Fuck, I'm so stupid. Larian. Sony doesn't own Larian. There it is. Sony fucking owns them. That's the issue. Game, but this M for Mature game can go way beyond that. So, every and character, what the touched. fuck? And of course, that hypocrisy has been reflected in the actions of journalists. We've been seeing this for a long time. People shaming and attacking these outfits of Eve from Stellar Blade. While these same authors are going forward and celebrating ways to find nude uh, exploits in game. You all reading this bull? This game free patch notes didn't mention the most important change, but players sure found it. Penis physics. Hi, Visa! <laughs> <laughs> Just want their horny fantasy fulfilled so nobody else is. Yep, 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 yep. Not even noticed. <laughs> Imagine that as a job. 
of jiggle boats. It's like Baldur's Gate 3. And the hypocrisy can be seen in some of the reactions of content creators. You see this right here saying, it's wild to me that despite good reviews, despite the game being genuinely fun to play, gamers <laughs> can't just take the W and are having a meltdown over a small piece of black lace. Now, I think it's- Because it's covering up the tits! It's covering the titties! That's why we have an issue! Show us the tits! Move on! Lace is hot, that is true, that is true. Agreeable. The lace is good, the lace is good, don't get me wrong. But Booba! Cleavage! <laughs> disingenuous to dismiss all of this as the cries of gooners this is a situation where players and customers are being lied to this isn't about just a simple little piece of black lace this is a this is much bigger so i don't understand why people will take this as a moral victory while accepting the fact that they bought a product from a company that lied to them they lied about this promise of having uncensored versions released in all countries. And that is the main issue Release with Stellar Booba. Blade and Shift Up. You can acknowledge everything going on with Sony and the unfair treatment that uh, Stellar Blade and Shift Up have received from many different sources, while also saying this is unacceptable. They shouldn't have made this promise if they couldn't deliver it. And I like Shift Up. I like Stellar Blade. But at the same rate, I'm not going to give them a pass just because I like them. This is acts of censorship. If this was happening to other games, people would be up at arms. So it's very odd to see some people just overlook these things because they want to support Stellar Blade. Huh. So on Sony's blog announcing the release of the NG+, Plus, there is one comment that I think really sums up how I feel and a lot of other people feel about what Shift Up and Sony is doing with this censorship. So this user says, I really don't appreciate that it is now effectively false advertising and a lie that they explicitly advertise the game as an uncensored worldwide release and yet we're getting conservative modesty edits to outfits that Sony let prominently featured in the trailers and promo material and who knows where that will end and yet Sony has no problem with bare effing complete nudity, sex, and realistic and traumatic disgusting Again, this is because Sony owns one of them and not the other that's fucking why. <laughs> also because they're Japanese, right? It's and like not only like Sony itself is Japanese, uh, and I think it's more important for their Asian culture for the Asian like games to be more censored and shit. I think that's like culturally more important to them, kind of. But they still let you fuck up there on the PlayStation, regardless of who published it. <laughs> Yes, that's what I mean. That's what I mean. Like, a Sony isn't censoring every single fucking game. Sony is censoring the games they are publishing themselves. Uh, that's the difference here. Well, of course you have. We're just talking about Sony right now. Violence in games like Cyberpunk, t and Baldur's Gate 3. This is clown world nonsense, and you just lost a customer unless Sony reverses its lies and stops censoring the- The bear is wholesome and kinda cute, to be fair, it's not. It is not. Game pre and post launch. And apologies for lying, heck, you can even call it a mistake. I don't even care about the bunny suit I probably wouldn't wear. It is the principle of the matter and the blatant double standard and the lack of trust. And that is That's my nice. perspective on this situation. <laughs> There is a lack of trust. When you advertise your game as something that won't be censored, and then it's immediately censored, that is a problem. You, Halson is neither cute nor wholesome. Halson is... Halson just wants to fucking fuck, man. Halson pretends he wants to have, like, that good relationship with you, and then he's also, like, he's gonna take, like, a thousand partners as well. Like, fuck off, bro. Fuck right off. Like, nah. -uh. Get Astarian. Astarian will love you forever. 
and when you should be able to speak up and hold everyone in this scenario accountable. Now, what do you do? Well, I've seen a lot of different responses to the situation. People seeing the censorship and they No, Lazel is not best girl. Hello, hot tiefling mommy, which name is f I've forgotten right now. And um, my, um, like, Kalak, yes, Kalak, hello, Kalak is best girl. She literally tells you she wants to write you until you see the fucking stars, bro. And you barely know each other. <laughs> Yo, I'm so, what's up? Psyche Cinderella who wants to save you but can't admit it. Uh, I like Lazo. I do like Lazo. Lazo has some, Lazo does have some good parts about her. But Kalak is still best girl. The player is spamming fire-resistant potions for Kalak, legit. I will accept Kalak only, and that's it. Kalak is amazing. Kalak and Astarion are my favorite companions. Like, no, I can't. I can't. Like, dude, Astarion is such a cutie. I can't. Astarion is, Astarion is the fucking cutest man. Great character arc, man. Oh, I can't. Immediately pull all of their support of Stellar Blade and shift up. And I've seen other people in their attempt to support Stellar Blade. Don't get me started on Gale. Gale is such a fuckboy. I hate him. I hate Gale. Holy shit. Gale gets so fucking power hungry. That fucking piece of shit cunt. Nah, fuck Gale. Nah, -uh, fuck Gale. Nah, -uh, uh, uh. We hate Gale out here. Completely overlook these censorship changes that they normally would be very critical of if it was a different franchise or game. Chat, you in here? Who in here? F uh. <laughs> Kale's a professional gaslight, actually, though. <laughs> Legit! Now, I think there's a little more nuance to all this, where you can hold all parties accountable without playing favorites in a push to make this product and future products better without censorship. And that is something reflected by some claims made by Mark Kern, who's been a longtime member of this industry and someone who's been very vocal about the issues in the gaming industry. So he says this, I hate to be blunt, but if you cancel your pre-order, you hand the journalists and everyone making fun of Stellar Blade a huge win. They what? want it to fail. They want to write about how mad you are. Instead, oh. we're going to have them write about how we changed it all the day Stellar Blade shipped. And that's reflected Schmuck. in posts like this. He's given many steps of what he thinks should happen. And here's step seven saying, the petition I made to hashtag free Stellar Blade is up. Now, I know a lot of people will look at petitions and laugh. What? And yes, I don't think petitions alone will ever accomplish anything, but Legit. they are a useful tool and asset when you're trying to push for change. Because if you can get hundreds of thousands of sig signatures on a petition, that means something that's showing what people want. We've seen these sorts of things be a valuable tool for pushing for what gamers want in the past. And that's something that he raises with classic wow if you know everything surrounding classic yeah, okay, wow, okay. that's, version that's of the game actually a fair point basically two decades ago and people wanted to return to the initial game there was very active private servers with millions of players but there was never an official classic <laughs> version of the game re-released you think you do but you don't at least and players kept pushing and pushing and pushing including getting 200k signatures on related uh petitions but it was just constantly turned down Blizzard always said no, no matter what. They said it was never going to happen. In fact, we had this infamous quote from Jalen Brad many years ago where someone asked about whether there would ever be classic round There it is, and ladies is and gentlemen. Really wanted. And he replied with his infamous quote saying, you think you do, but you don't. Basically saying, we know better than you, despite everything you're saying to us and what you want, it's not actually what you want. Well, that would age horribly as Classic WoW would be released about <sighs> five years ago. And on initial release, the servers were flooded. There was 10 plus hour queues just to get into the game. And there's been many iterations and paths stemming from that initial classic re-release. And it's honestly one of the very few good decisions Blizzard has made. It isn't classic one of the biggest money makers for a uh, while right now? Like legit? What the fuck, man? In a it's very, so crazy. very long time was re-releasing Classic WoW and you trying to extend do, upon but you don't. Classic WoW. Now, going back to uh, the post made by Mark Kern saying uh, here, the Step 8 plan 
is to show them gamers win. Restore the original game to what was promised. That should be the push to get Stellar Blade, Shift Up, and Sony to restore the version of the game that they promised. This uncensored version that they were advertising themselves as. That is what you should push for. I understand if some people are disappointed and they just don't want to support it anymore. I get it. But if you want to make actual change, you need to go out there and talk to customer support. Reach out to Sony the best way you can. Reach out to Stellar Blade. Reach out to Shift Up. And show that you are not accepting this censorship. Because this is going to happen over and over again unless people can show that gamers can have an impact on these things and make it very clear what they want and get the companies involved to provide that because they are offering a service and they're molding it and advertising it a certain way and they're not delivering it the way they promised. That's not acceptable. You should be very vocal about this and instead Yo, of trying to just no, wipe your hands thank you for the rain try to get it fixed. Make thank that you, be no, the next yeah. headline that these things are being restored. I think that Welcome is the most Ray important Dice. thing to do next when it comes to Stellar Blade. And of course, there's going to be trials doing and tribulations, doing. right? It's going to be hard in and of itself, but you're not going to get support from a lot of oh, people are you on doing? Twitter. You're going to get attacked just like Mark Kern has. Immediately, just trying to restore what gamers paid for is being met with threats on people's lives. And that's not surprising, but that is expected. And you can have a million of these comments, but if you keep pushing, who knows? Maybe something good will come out of this situation. And overall, that is what we're talking about with Stellar Blade. There is censorship right now, and there's definitely some questions that need to be answered oh. by Shift Up and Sony. And Sick. right now, nice. I know a lot of people will enjoy this game regardless. Let's not act like this makes the game completely useless and bad. But there are things that you should care about. If you're someone who is any sort of familiarity with this channel or related channels, we fight back against censorship. And just because it's happening to a game mm. that you're enjoying or a company you support doesn't mean you should overlook it. That is part of the problem. People did that for years. They overlooked small examples over and over again until these changes kept building up greater and greater to the absolute mess that the gaming industry currently oh my God. is. We've seen how far it can go. But for now, that is the update regarding Stellar Blade. I hope this cleared up some misinformation and confusion out there. And yeah, as always, feel free to share your thoughts about today's topics in the comment section down below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you.